Hey everybody, Jamie Starr here for the New World News Network. Tonight, I want to talk about Ice-T and his uh, new music video with his band Body Count for No Lives Matter. Now, when I first saw this, I thought I was going to really dig it because, you know, the way I view government, the sort of Ben Shapiro way where it's just a big shooting machine and uh, any law they enforce will be done at gunpoint. So no lives matter in the perspective of things with the way it's been. So I like that point. And here's the thing. He kind of makes these two points that I can get behind both of them. But when they're put forth together, I sort of, it sort of throws me off because I start to see an inconsistency where you're saying one thing, like there's like an inversion taking place, and, and we'll get into this. The Ice T fronted Los Angeles metal band Body Count have announced a new album called Bloodlust. It's out March 31st via Century Media. The first offering from the release is a new video for the song title No Lives Matter. Watch it below via Loudwire. Bloodlust will include guest Dave Mustaine, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's unfortunate that, and he says this in the beginning, it's unfortunate that we even have to say Black Lives Matter, Ice-T says at the start of the video. When you say Black Lives Matter and then you say All Lives Matter, that's like if I were to say Gay Lives Matter and when you say All Lives Matter or I say Women's Lives Matter when you say All Lives Matter. See, here he's setting up a context, like in, the, in terms of a conversation, and I agree with this. If someone is making this statement, Black Lives Matter, well, yes, of course they do. And all I, like, two things can be true at the same time. I don't think the one cancels the other out. You're diluting what I'm saying, and that I agree with. If you are talking about black issues, you can say black people, this affects black people, this, this, and that. It can affect more people than black people. You know, again, we're not, we don't have to talk in absolutes all the time. It's, this is weird combative language policing. Um, you're diluting the issue. The issue isn't about everybody. Right? So that's what he's saying. Then he goes on, we can get into this video, um, <clears throat> which uh, I'll, I'll let the beginning just play out here. The other article says it as well, though. It's unfortunate that we even have to say Black Lives Matter. I mean, if you go through history, nobody ever gave a fuck. I mean, you can kill black people in the street. Nobody goes to jail. Nobody goes to prison. But when I say Black Lives Matter and you say All Lives Matter, that's like if I was to say... Gay lives matter and you say all lives matter. If I said women's lives matter and you say all lives matter, you're diluting what I'm saying. You're diluting the issue. The issue isn't about everybody. Now, and again, if we were to be talking about gays being executed in Saudi Arabia, well, yes, gays lives matter. If we were talking about black kids being shot by cops, yes, black lives matter. If we're talking about police brutality and cops shooting people, then yes, all lives matter. So in context, yes, I agree completely to just be throwing this out there in the midst of a conversation about a certain issue would be diluting what you're saying. True, but now listen to where he takes this. It's about black lives at the moment. At the moment. But the truth of the matter is, they don't really give a fuck about anybody. So, the truth is... They don't give a fuck about anybody. They don't give a fuck about nobody. Anybody. So if you were to advocate for the nobody that is not being given a fuck about, you would then say what? All lives matter. That's what, I mean, it's this weird sort of inverted double think. And I mean, Songs are right. It's kind of like a new metal kind of thing, you know. Whatever, Ice T. Um, you know, if hear you a break bit of the it. shit all the way down to the low, fucking dirty ass truth. We say that Black Lives Matter. But truthfully, they really never have. No one ever really gave a fuck. Just read your books and history books. But honestly, it ain't just black. It's yellow. It's brown. It's red. It's anyone who ain't got cash. Poor whites that they call trash. I mean, so he's writing this song that's saying, you know, all of these people in the perspective of the government and everything, they don't give a fuck about... I mean, it's... 
am I the only one bothered by this? So then he uh, explains it, and I'm not going to show the rest of the video. I don't want a copyright violation. So he explains it. Um, it's unfortunate you even have to say, but the truth of the matter is he continues. They don't give a fuck about anybody if you break the shit all the way down. So far, I've gotten a good response. Ice T elaborates to Hip Hop DX. I'm playing the honest angle with this. When it gets to the real bottom line, they don't give a fuck about anybody. I start the record off by saying it's unfortunate we even have to bring it up as a point. It's a phrase of desperation. It's not a phrase of power. It's a phrase of despair. They're diluting what you're saying right now with All Lives Matter. This is being sparked from a lot of black people being killed in a short period of time. I can take it a step further. When you're taking the base of government and power, we are all collateral damage at the end of the day. So, again, I agree with plenty that he's saying. And in context, yes, if this you know phrase or movement is stemming out of this, then yes, it's very much true. And to say All Lives Matter, although it is a true statement, is insulting to what these people are trying to do, I, I don't think their movement is going the right direction whatsoever, though. And their their ideas, you know, here's the problem with their movement. And it, you could say it about Bernie Sanders and his movement or any of these other movements. There's a lot of legitimate complaints, and it's just a lot of really awful solutions. So, um... According to the Hip Hop Vet, unity is the key to making things change. While people are distracted by Donald Trump's accusatory tweets by Nordstrom behind closed doors, much dark forces are at work. Their biggest fear is when we get on the same side of something, he says, they, don't, they want to keep dividing us. Blacks against the whites, women against men. They don't want people to line up and realize we're all pretty much mad at the same shit. They keep trying to throw monkey wrenches in to make us fight with each other, so we're not focused on what the problem is. And see, if you were to go to me and say this, I would say, yes, they want us fighting over something like whether or not it's appropriate to say all lives matter or black lives matter or when and where it is appropriate to say these things and in what con I mean, see what I'm saying? The fact that I even have to do this video in response to this kind of shows this is going on. You claim you're fighting it, but you're kind of perpetuating it at the same time. This is all so very double-thinky, weird... And it's bigger than the police, he continues. The song isn't even about them. It's about how the game is played. If they if they don't feel you have money to fight, they'll treat you like shit. That's the kind of war that's kind of how the world is. The world is based on if I can fuck you over, I will. What happened in the hood is really when regular kids started to get killed, we started to march, and a note went to police that people are going to make noise and they can't sweep it under the rug, so they decided maybe we need to pull back on our behavior. Marching does help. When you don't, they will get away with it and no one is talking about it. If one of those things where I'm glad people are at least now raising some kind of response to anybody... Which is good, you know, if things are wrong, definitely march, raise awareness to it, by all means. The video for No Lives Matter is just the beginning. Body Counts, Bloodlust, the group's sixth studio album, and follow-up to 2014's Manslaughter comes with ten more seething tracks that presumably will ignite a firestorm of comments. Or as he puts it, fuck your head up, but at least people will be talking. And that is true, but again, are we talking about a... A real issue here, you know, it's, it's like talking about language policing, especially when the song itself contains this odd double think. It also contains the idea that uh, racism stems from classism, which I'm going to have an uh, interview on as soon as I get to editing it, and I need to, because at this point I'm a fucking jerk for not having it done. So anyway, just wanted to share this. Have a good one, everyone.